I would remember him as a human being of great decency, great inspiration, great moral compass, and someone who lived his life with such, with such courage, with such fortitude, and with such love for the country, and for every countryman, for every animal. I mean, I don't think there'll be another Ratan Tata because he, you know, I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, but he was a different kind of man. I was blessed. I mean, I'm thanking the Lord that uh, I even had the honor and the, and the privilege of, of knowing him. But Ratan Tata strode like a colossus. He was a human being with great dignity, with great decency, and with utmost compassion. I mean, from being a, a fighter jet pilot to in July, playing with my five-year-old daughter. You know, she was passing him Kit Kat and he was taking it. The, the love which he showered on me, on my family, on my wife, Lakshmi. And I can't keep remembering, but there are innumerable anecdotes. It's not about what Ratan Tata achieved in business, that you and I know. But the man was something else, whether it was his staff, whether it was his, his dogs, uh, you know, I've often said this about how he refused an invitation by King Charles, then Prince Charles, to go to Buckingham Palace uh, to receive a lifetime achievement because Tito, one of his dogs, was unwell. That shows you character. I think what he will leave behind in India is great character. He will leave behind great humanism. He will leave behind, to my mind, a legacy that people will love to follow.